Hi guys, my dear friends. I'm so glad that you're watching again. Um, and I have, this is again my Monday desk. Um, and so it's kind of filled with a lot of different things and I'm just gonna go around with some, some of the new things that I picked up over the weekend. This weekend was, I went to so many shops picking up so many little different things and if I can remember, I'll try to remember where they're at and where some of the things I purchased are from. Um, but here I have these adorable little scrolls. Um, they're beautiful paper. Look at that paper, how pretty it is. It's turquoise and pink. Um, and they're wrapped with this pretty golden thread. Um, and I'm gonna make scripture scrolls out of these. So um, I'm gonna put them into my, sh my little Insta shop. And they're so cute. I also got this, um, I, you, I, I love circus stuff. Um, and so circus, vintage circus type things. Um, I've already shared that before. But this was a dollar for this adorable little, it's like a to-do list. And it comes with this, my favorite part was this little elephant. I love elephants. He's so cute and blue and chubby and cute. I love him. Um, and then I got some of these sticky notes. And I'm going to show you what I like to do with sticky notes. Um, this is just one of my journals that I, I take old uh, vintage books I collect them. I collect that with hymnals. I have so many of them. And um, I like to fix them up and just give a fresh new life to them. And I love to use these as my journal. So this is my Wednesday night journal that I use for my Wednesday night Bible study. Um, and it is a delight to write in. I cannot tell you, if you've never written in a vintage book before, you must try. Um, and I have this one that I'm mailing off today. And isn't she gorgeous? Um, I love to just do you know, it's what you call altered art. Um, and I like to just tinker about with it. But this one is beautiful. It's elements of algebra. And it just has just simple pages. Some of the pages um, inside of them that I'm working on one. Um, it's, I'll share that in the next video. Um, it just has some very pretty vintage paper inside. But I love doing that. Um, and this one is going to the Netherlands. Um, because it's just, I mean, it's just so so unique and something that you're not gonna just see every day. And believe me, when you pull that journal, people are gonna say, where did you get that? That is so neat, cool, or you're weird. That's what I get sometimes. <laughs> anyway, um, so here I have some of these bright colored tags I picked up over the weekend and found. Beautiful colors, look at that. I mean, they're just so pretty. I'll show you what I, I'm gonna do with that in a little bit. Here's a, um, bookmark that I made and it's a little Alice in Wonderland bookmark. Um, I got from a swap these little Alice in Wonderland stickers and I just cut out the word from a hymnal and I put it on there and this is all vintage fabric that I have purchased and just made this pretty little quaint bookmark for myself. Um, I didn't want, I did. I mean the stickers are so pretty but I want to see them too so if I have them in a book or in a journal I can see them all the time. Um, again I have my little cupcake candle yeah I think it's cupcake with sprinkles it smells so delightful so good um, some look at these washi tape I'm sure some of you have seen them I got these I did get these at Michaels but I like the polka dots I love the stripes um, just fun fun washi tape that again remind me of the circus um, probably gonna annoy everyone with the circus thing but here is the this little globe that I found um, it's so pretty it's a little to me, circus elephant. <laughs> and it's just so lovely. I really like it. Um, and it's tiny, so it fits perfectly here on my desk. Um, and I, my desk has got so many little things on here right now. From what I got, I have a couple of kits up there that I'm working on. And then I have these little jar of these little wafer cookies. They're called satellites. Um, I saved the package because I'm a crazy sucker for packaging. It's so cute. Look at all those colors. You know, my nieces love to watch this because I think my desk attracts them. It's like kind of kid-like, which is fun. So, hi, Kaya. Hi, Kira. And Tisa says hi. I know you're going to watch my video. They're my biggest fans. They love to watch my video. Um, but they're called these satellite wafers. And so when you bite them, all these little tiny beads come out of them. My kids love them. Of course, I had to monitor each one having only one, but they're kind of these cute little, I love wafery things. I don't know why. They're just, they're fun to eat. So I have them all on my desk here. Um, 
And if you remember my last video, I talked about golden stars, um, and I found these. I have a golden fern, which I love that. I, like, I don't even want to use a sticker. I've used it on so many things. It's my last golden fern. It's by Martha Stewart, and I, and I need to find more. They're so fun to use in your journals. But anyhow, I found these golden sparkly stars. Look at how pretty they sparkle. I was talking about how I, I'm particular about certain stars. I don't know what it is. But these are perfect. They are gorgeous inside of your journal. I already used a couple. They're so pretty. But these are for the mums that you use for football games and things. And this was 99 cents at Mar uh, Michael's. So I bought this and I love the way they look. They stick easily, they peel off easily, and they the glitter doesn't come off everywhere. Um, so, and then I, I got these over the weekend also. I got these pretty, look at those pretty markers. Um, I love those colors, so pretty. Um, they're kind of brush tipped at the end. Um, kind of fun for writing. Also want to show you this journal that I got and I'm going to be putting this in a kit and it's beautiful. This is the kit. It's This is in the making. It's just starting. You know, this is kind of the skeleton of it. It's a journal with a clear bag. I told you guys I love clear bags, but look at that beautiful Paris I mean the water coloring on that is so pretty. I just love that. I'm going to be putting that in the in my Insta shop. Um, and I wanted to go through quickly with, excuse me, I'm drinking my coffee. Um, I wanted to go through with um, showing you guys a little bit of what I've done with my um, planner. When I change stuff up on it, I want to show you guys and share with you. Maybe it'll help encourage you in some way to try something new or try something different. Uh, again, I, I know I'm a little strange to eclectic or eccentric however um, but look at this little uh, I put a nib I love calligraphy so I got a nib and hooked it onto this little charm that I made and it just hangs there and it looks so nice and it's part of my keychain um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that out I'm gonna show that to you properly but um, I also took this card this little it's it is a playing card but I'm not much of a card player <laughs> So I just love this little bunny. You guys can see I have her up there also in this frame that I had. Um, so I put it on with this little paper clip that uh, it's got a little bit of vintage wrap on it and it's just so pretty. To me, when you open your um, planner, I feel like for me, I want it to look happy and clean. Well, there's the word happy and fun um, and just covering all, kind of all, if you have a disheveled mess in the back, it kind of just covers all that. Um, and here's a little bit of washi tape that I have. Here are my cards in here. Um, and to me, these cards make me so happy. I know it was simple. These are, you know, not <laughs> extravagant cards, but they, they really just kind of make me happy. I think it's the spots that make me happy, the little polka dots. Um, also, I bought this. Um, I love this coffee card from Starbucks. It's so pretty. I, I feel like it goes with everything. Kind of the black and white kind of tones or calms down all the color and stuff I've got on and you guys know I've got a lot of color you can see it um, so that's kind of the entry way of it that of what I have um, and let me just show you today let me go to today's so this is today's um, setup again this is another little card that I got from the Lowe's card um, and I cut it out when I was getting paint and I need to go to the store today I'm gonna go get some more paint um, for a project that I'm working on and I just wrote uh, another Jane Austen quote it says she was sensible and clever but eager in everything so I love that quote I feel like that's kind of me I don't know if I'm clever but <laughs> I'm eager um, and then I just put my um, yellow spectacles paper clip um, I got this out of a post uh, sticky note and I love this Alice she just looks so I don't know vintage cute um, and so I'm filling that out for this week. Um, and this is just a little number tag that I punched a hole in, put it through. Um, and so that's kind of what I've got going on back uh, there. Um, and so those are some of the things that I, I changed up this week, um, for this week. Um, I wanna also show you something that I love and I was so excited about. Um, I have this kit. Um, I know I have my rainbow bag. Um, I don't think I have it with me. No, it's not with me. I have my rainbow bag and I love it so much. It just, it's so pretty. The colors are so pretty and I'm not lying. Every time I pull it out, 
it just makes me feel so happy to pull everything out of it. I've had so many bags that I put my Bible in, my journals in, my pens in, and this bag that I have that I have makes me so happy. And I just I went searching on the hunt for where I got it from because I had so many friends asking me, "Where did you get it from?" I got it from Big Lots. So if you have a Big Lots, go look there. Um, they always have kind of stuff it's always varying so um, this I had seen for a while and look at the pretty colors of that yes it is a cosmetic bag to me that works best um, that works easier for me it just it it just works easier um, but I found this pretty brightly colored one again carnival looking it's just so fun and pretty all these colors these colors are being kind of discontinued because it's summer's kind of you know finishing up but for me it's always summer uh, it's always happy colors are always good um, even in, I told my sister one time, even when it's wintry and cold, you can make it happy by just doing, you know, bright colors, you know, pep yourself up a little. Um, so look at these tags. I really decorated them with some of those sparkly stars. Again, clear, clear. There's these gel pins I have in here. Some little tags. A washi tape straw with some of that foam washi tape I showed you earlier. Um, and then this is what I do with, um, I stamp, um, post-it notes and look at that pretty stars that are um, on there and then um, it's got these tags it's got this this is the journal that it comes with I love this lady this vintage lady it's so pretty um, I put two paper clips with vintage fabric on it um, some golden stars but look at how fun this is it feels like just happy and fun um, here's this, some labels also here's this um, this is another version of that to-do list and this pretty little bear isn't she cute with her little skirt curly skirt on a bicycle papers uh, scrapbook papers that are in here also um, but I'm gonna be in some fun little dots and stuff I'm gonna be posting this up on my insta shop at precious dot to two dot me I'll post that I'll share that um, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested um, and hopefully I have a quick second to show you something that I was going to do with this tag. I know I said that last time I was going to do um, a hymnal doily, but I couldn't find the little doily that I had saved for it. So what I'm going to do is just show you on a tag. You can do this on anything. It's very simple, very easy, something you can do really quickly. Um, let's see if I can find my, my letters and maybe I missed my letters. Um, yeah. I Well, basically what you do is you get these hymnals, you cut out a word, like I know his promise never faileth, and then you just glue it on to these. Now, um, oh, here it is. There it is. Because I really like to. I don't know if this... No, it's not it. But this said the Lord is King. You get it, and you glue it on and then you can decorate it now because I'm using one hand and I'm working on trying to get a tripod so I can be a little more you know efficient with this rather than fumbling about but you just glue it on there and look how to me that already just looks pretty it's perfect as a bookmark as a tag you can glue this on the front of a journal you can uh, use this for anything it's just uh, you can even put a scripture on here you can decorate it you can put some of these golden stars on it I think I gave you a little bit of a sample um, in the, the kit that I had. Um, so that's just something fun that you can do. Also I wanted to show you these little, I'm including some of these in a kit, but um, this is my hymnal, let me move out of the way. Uh, these little journals that I found, isn't she cute? Isn't she adorable? I mean, just like a little cube of good loveliness. Um, I'm gonna be putting some of these also in the shop, but this is so fun, and I'm working on trying to make some of these. I'm sure you could do it yourself. I don't make them, but I'm working on trying to make some. Um, they're nice and thick and full. I use these to write scriptures in. When I go minister to others, counsel others, talk with others, help others, I jot down scriptures. You can use this for memory scriptures. They're easy, they fit in your pocket, in your purse. You can pull them out and just go through it. This, these little booklets have been so helpful as I've been learning um, to help others and encourage others. I just pull out my little booklet and say, hey, look at this scripture, read that. Um, maybe that'll encourage you in a certain problem or situation you're having. So these little, little guys come in handy and I love them. 
Um, but you can use them for anything. You can even put a pressed flower inside. If you like to do pressed flowers or botanicals or um, leaves, you can do that too. I mean, this the possibilities with journaling are endless. You can just be as creative as you want and be you know have as much fun as you want. And for me, that's that's the that's the goal of journaling so hopefully this video was helpful and encouraging for you today thank you for watching and taking time bye bye